morning guys we are off on an exciting adventure amy is filming the boys are coming the boys are you excited to go flying yeah, yeah? uh we're taking the 44 and we're going on a fun little adventure today we are headed up north to chetwind it's about a 12 hour drive about a four hour flight looks like a gorgeous day you guys are coming along can't wait to take it <laughs> Alpha Yankee, you back ground, altimeter 3037, squawk 6755, contact tower 1194, ready. 6755 for Alpha Yankee, come back. Alpha Yankee, back tower, clear to the ground in the calendar, take out BC helicopter discussion there, this is the center of the right cross on runway 01. Okay, look for that traffic, for Alpha, come back. <laughs> okay, sitting at about 23 inches, we got lots of juice. Any traffic in behind, looks all clear. And traffic and for Alpha Yankee Quebec. Alpha Yankee, back to our roger. Look at all that power. Psycho the news, there's an helicopter. We got the power. Eastbound, they have to fight. Psycho the news. All right, you guys. So one of the things that we're thinking about today, uh, we've been thinking about weather for the last basically week trying to plan this trip out. Uh, today is the best day. So I've looked at the winds, checked out windy. Um, it's quite calm all the way along. So even with wind gusts, the max what we're getting in wind is about 20 knots and uh, the rest is you know anywhere between 10 to 12 or so it was really really good as far as the winds go and uh, we actually lucked out with some really nice weather really high ceilings so we should be able to go direct today which is the hope it's going to help uh, make things go a little bit quicker so this is the base of stave lake here and we are working our way up stave all the way to the north end and then up uh, past harrison lake and then our route's going to take us right over top of williams lake Right down below us is Canada's largest waterfall. I know you guys think it's Niagara Falls, but it's not. This is Canada's biggest waterfall in the whole entire Canada. No, that's actually not true at all, but it's a really cool waterfall. Check it out. That's kind of neat, eh? Whoa! And it stops right there. There's a waterfall. See the waterfalls? Yeah, yeah it's 3,500 feet. Somebody was skiing! You think they were skiing? So we are at uh, 5,700 feet now, and it's a little bit beautiful up here. Look at the sunshine shining. Boys, are you liking this? Yeah. Yeah, this is nice, eh? Yeah. Yep. So we're just crossing over kind of the last main range of mountains before we get to Williams Lake, and then things start to flatten out a little bit, just for a little while. But uh, it's always fun on a day like this, when the winds are basically completely calm. It's like five to eight knots up here. And you can just play and enjoy the backyard that we have that is British Columbia. Check it out. Woo! -hoo! So right now we're about uh, 24 minutes away from Williams Lake. We'll get a fuel stop there and then make our way through the last uh, pass of mountains to Chetwin. It's slow. Nice. So this is Williams Lake, uh, Williams Lake Airport, and it's up at about 3,300 feet. I can see feet. the skids. Yeah? You can yeah. see the skids? Yeah. You can see them touch the ground then. There's our ter little terminal, and uh, quick fuel stop, and we'll continue on our way. The helicopter needs to be fueled up every three hours, so it's a good time to fuel up as well. Peanut butter and jam sandwich, it's always a nice way to stay fueled. Have some breakfast here in the morning. What do you guys think? Are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. the favorite part so far? Uh, all of it. I love. I all really of it. like the mountain. Yeah, all yeah, the snow I and do mountains. Too. I really like the mountain. All right. Well, it looks like we lost one of our navigators. He was doing so good, and then um, just conked right out. I think it wore him out. All that navigation work nice. Uh, the cloud level definitely started to form a bit thicker and come a little bit lower, but still have decent visibility over top of these peaks. Right now we're about 6,000 feet and I can see um, pretty much to our destination now. We've got about um, 65 miles left to go here, so not too terribly long. Uh, so far it's been an incredible flight. Tailwind's the whole way. Right now we've got about a 20 knot tailwind. Just starting to feel a few little bumps. It's going to pick up a little bit as we get into the afternoon, but all in all, man, it's been a very, very good flight. Hudson, you still happy? You still enjoying it? Yeah, Quinny's gone to sleep, but Hudson is staying strong. And and we found Angry Chicken. 
That's angry right. chicken logging long. Amy found angry chicken. <laughs> oh, that's epic. That is beautiful. What a place. If you want, you can cool it down. Cool the engine down? No, cool um, the yeah. Oh, you're hot now? Yeah. Yeah. I just started feeling it on my face. Like, woo wee <laughs> Oh yeah, feel that updraft. Covering here with 20 inches. That feels nice. See that wind blowing out over the edge there? Yeah. Oh man, this is a beautiful spot. Ooh, look at that view. Look at that view. Look at that landing spot. This is epic. Man, man, I like this. Hard to believe this is so close to Chetwind, eh? Alright, here we come. There is the town of Chetwind right there. We are descending in through 3,500 feet and on final now the last few minutes and there's no snow down here it is currently six degrees so it's definitely warmed up from where we were just a minute ago up in the mountains been a good trip eh guys it's like a little under four hours and we're here usually this trip takes us 12 hours to drive so felt very fun to be able to fly here in less than four hours it's even before lunchtime here so pretty awesome all right guys we made it Woo! landed in the backyard we are here this is amy's parents place in Chatwin, just a couple minutes out of town. Um, nice to have uh, some acreage around here so that we can actually land. Very nice, that was a fun flight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and we're gonna talk to you on the next one. See ya.